Hey, what's up you guys? It's your girl Strashmi and today we're gonna to be creating one of my favorite BET award ceremony looks by none other than the most legendary, beautiful, and iconic R&B girlies of our time, Miss Ashanti. Now, if you remember Ashanti like I remember Ashanti, you're gonna remember a very soft, beautiful, glamorous girl, natural beauty, never too heavy on the makeup, sparkly silver undertones with maybe a little bit of a hint of pink. One of the easiest ways to get that inner glow foundation look like Ashanti has is to make sure that your skin is hydrated and illuminated underneath your makeup. So you can go in and do that with a hydrating spray and any type of primer that kicks back light or has a little bit of a glow. The next thing we're gonna do is go in with a lightweight foundation. Now, if you need extra coverage, go in and do some spot correcting with some concealer first, because the point of this foundation look is to look like there's barely any makeup on our skin and that it's kind of glowing and reflecting and radiating back light. You can make your foundation lightweight and luminous in two different ways. One, you can grab a lightweight luminous foundation because foundations do come in different formulas. Or two, you can add some dewy drops to a full coverage foundation and use about half the amount. Now that our foundation is on, the next thing we're gonna wanna do is make our under eyes the same color and you're gonna do that with some concealer. Okay, so now that our skin is all even, we are looking a little bit flat. I am putting the bronzer all along my hairline, a little bit down on my forehead. I am using one of the biggest, fluffiest brushes that I have because you don't want this to look too orange. The goal is warmth. Now that we are all warmed up, it's time to contour. For this look, I'm gonna focus my contour just right underneath my cheekbones and I'm gonna start at the top of my ear and just kind of build up a little bit of depth right in this corner. You wanna make sure that you're bronzing your skin and contouring your face if you're going to try to pull off anything close to the iconic Ashanti's trademark look. Now that we're all contoured, we just need one more thing to wrap up this Ashanti skin and that is her signature glow. Okay, you guys, our skin is seriously so poppin'. Today, we're gonna be doing the soft shadow box Ashanti look. I went ahead and I did this eye off camera, and you guys, it literally took me five minutes. All you need is a sparkly pink, two medium browns, a fluffy brush for blending, and then a flat brush for placement. <laughs> the first shadow you're gonna wanna grab is a medium brown, something one or two shades darker than your skin tone, and we're gonna blow that out into your crease. You know what I love the most about Miss Ashanti though is how her looks are simple because I feel like you can easily accomplish them and you can just feel like you're that girl, you know? The next thing you're gonna wanna take is a dark brown tone. You're gonna place this in a rhombus style fashion on the outer corner of your eye. What I mean by rhombus is straight and out, straight and out, straight down, straight down. The goal of this is to lift the outer corner and add some definition. Ashanti smoky eyes are very seamless, so make sure you are blending. Now we're gonna place that same color on the inside of our lid. All of the shadows should kind of whisk up in a way to make sure the eye looks lifted and snatched. The next thing we're gonna grab is a color shifting, kind of metallic light pink, light silver, light vanilla, anything lighter than your skin complexion that you can use to highlight your lid. And we're gonna pop that right in between those two brown shades on the inner and outer corner. Now you wanna go back in with your fluffy blending brush and make sure that those are fused together. Now you can stop here, but I'm gonna take it one more notch and add a sparkly pink right on the center of my eyelid. Blend, blend, blend. The Ashanti Smoky Eye is not complete without a liner and a lash. Ashanti is known for her voluptuous, fluffy lashes and cat eyes. So we're gonna do a solid black cat eye and focus the angle right on the outer corner to add some lift and then add some juicy lashes. Look at the power of a cat eye. Look how much more lifted this side looks. Snatched. Both sides are lifted and now we just need lash. Ooh, okay, yes. This is exactly what this look needed to be complete. I went ahead and I added some mascara and a little bit of white in the waterline just because Miss Ashanti never does too dark of an under eye. Now another thing Ashanti's makeup looks are known for are her high glossy lips with a little bit of a 90s liner. So we're gonna go ahead and start that now. Now you can take your favorite clear gloss and put it all over your lips. I wanna finish off this look with a bit of a modern twist and bring it up to 2020 speed. Inspired by the late 90s and early 2000s, the hair clip trend is super popular and I think it's going to make this look perfect. 
Okay guys, necklace off, jean jacket on, a little bit of pink rhinestones to really set off that early 2000s flare. This is my favorite era of makeup and beauty inspired by the Mrs. Shanti, brought into an everyday 2020 vibe. I'm going to spray my collarbone with some glitter. This is definitely going to emulate that nice glowy Ashanti skin. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little step-by-step -step tutorial. Make sure you guys are checking out the BET Awards Sunday, June 28th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. See you guys next time.